Back to my channel, my name is Eddie, my last game, I swear. And in today's video, we are going to be doing something a little bit different. I don't know how I'm going to do, because I am not the best advice or tip giver or market talker. I just play the game and try to do some gameplays, but I wanted to make this video because of the recent market crash with all the series redux and the NFL 100 players coming out. A lot of good cards, a lot of good cards are dropping down in price, are becoming affordable, and I think people are trying to like just continuously trying to get the highest overall cards the newest cards they're missing out on some good good reliable serviceable you know cards like the reason i want to make this video because like i saw a couple of cards that you know a month ago were some of the best cards in madden and then just now i mean just kind of not being overlooked but the price the price is too good to pass up if you know you know but i'm gonna do my best to talk about the 10 best cards that you can get for under 100k and man 20 after this market crash and what i forgot to do is just hop into the auction block not gameplay huh Coming number one is gonna be steve young 90 overall for 104k it says right here but it's currently wednesday i don't have a watch but it's wednesday at 11 o'clock people are at work people are in school right now and if you come wait for the weekend his price is going to definitely drop i see him for like 90k definitely consistently under 100k you just gotta wait but Steve Young is just too good to pass up. If you're new to Madden or just building your team, Steve Young is definitely the first card I would recommend to build your team around because he has some of the best stats and he has some of the best abilities you can get on the quarterback at this moment. You do have to power him up, but once you get him to 82 speed, he will be able to get Escape Artist, which is one of the funnest abilities and most probably most OP ability in Madden right now. But Unpowered W's have 81 speed. 88 throw power, 89 throw short, 89 throw mid, 86 throw deep, 86 throw under pressure, 88 throw and run, 87 play action. Literally, one of the most balanced cards in Madden is going for 100k. Before Lamar Jackson came out and Randy Cunningham came out, came out, Steve Young was the quarterback you wanted. Steve Young was the quarterback you had, you know, you could just, you put in, like, you know that you're going to have, you know, have fun playing with Steve Young. Definitely recommend to get him on your team if you don't have any of the high tier quarterbacks. If you're on a budget, you're just starting. Steve Young is probably going to be the best card on this list. Number two is going to be Marcus Allen. When the game first started, Marcus Allen was a problem. He was able to get evasive, which is the ability to juke and spin faster. And then I consistently got dominated by this card in the beginning of Madden. But obviously, as the season went on, cards were able to balance out. And, you know, match up to Marcus Allen in the beginning. But as cards start to get up a higher overall, we're passing Marcus Allen. But that's not necessarily, you know, the means that Marcus Allen is a bad card. 89 overalls are still serviceable in Madden right now. We're currently at 94 overalls, I believe. 94, 95s at, uh, at the stage right now. But 89 overall is still serviceable. For under 100k, you can definitely get a reliable starting running back still in Madden right now, right now, Marcus Allen. 6'2", 87 speed, 86 acceleration, 87 agility, 87 catching, 87 carrying, I mean. 72 catching, 83 looseness, 83 trucking, 83 break tackle. Serviceable, nice, reliable, not the most speedy, but 87 speed is still serviceable. 86 acceleration, but if you power him up, if you can afford him to power him up, get some more abilities on him, he is still going to be one of the most balanced, usable cards in Madden. So Mark Salen, 70k, definitely one of the best players, probably uh, in Madden, not, not, was one of the best card, best bang for your buck type running back, yeah. Number three, something a little bit similar is going to be David Johnson. He's a 90 overall. He has the same, he's the same running back archetype on me, elusive type running back. But 88k, he's going to be a little bit slightly better than Mark Allen, as you can tell right here. 6'1", 88 speed, 88 acceleration, 86 agility, 86 carrying, 68 catching, 84 elusiveness, 85 trucking, 86 break tackle. David Johnson, was I never used him, but I went up against him plenty of times. And he, if you power him up, or I'm not sure if you, if you can get him powered up, but Leapfrog was the ability that... You can put it on David Johnson and it allows him to hurdle 4, 5, 10, 20, a whole team of people and almost at no penalty. It was, it's not OP, but it's it's a fun ability to use on David Johnson. If you have under 100K, you need a solid running back. 
David Johnson will definitely get the job done. 88 speed with 85 trucking, solid, 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 solid. And he can get jukebox, and I believe he can get uh no he can't get a base. I'm not sure. Um, I I never patted him up, but he can definitely add, get some abilities that make this card even better for the price and even more serviceable than Marcus Allen. Third and final running back is gonna be Austin Eckler. This is only because he's more of a speedier back with 90 speed, 90 acceleration, 90 90 agility, 85 carrying, 86 86 elusiveness, 85 break tackles, 72 catching. This is purely because he's more of a speedier back. 90, 90, 90s is nice, solid. And like I mentioned, we're at the point of 94, 95 overall cards. Their speed is boosting up. So they're matching with the linebackers and receivers. But Austin Eckler, 90 speed is beyond serviceable. Under 100K. A nice bridge back, I would say, until you can get the card that you really want. If you're a Chargers fan, perfect. If you... If you want to use Austin Eckler to get Melvin Gordon, perfect. Boom, right on at 100K. Jerry Rice is going to be the first receiver of the list right here. He was, again, dominant when the, first, when the game first came out. I, oh, I never had him, but I went up against him. He never dropped anything. Jerry Rice is nice and serviceable. Again, this is really for people who are just kind of starting out on Madden and don't really have... You know, the coins to get the high, high end cards, but still want a nice, reliable card that they can build their team around. 6'2, 87 speed, 86 jumping, 89 catching is strong. 86 catching traffic, still strong. 85 spec catch, good. 89 short route running, good. 87 medium route running, and 83 uh, route running, deep route running. But yeah, Jerry Rice, everyone gets a Tory Holt. So let's say you're just starting out and you're leveling up. You get Tory Holt and Jerry Rice. That's a solid lineup right there. So Jerry Rice under right under 100 k You wait to the weekend, wait another day or two, wait for people to undercut. You get him for less. Hopping over the defense, we're gonna have Michael Strahan. He left in a solid, solid, solid defensive player. Like it again, he's an 89 overall. When the game first came out, I was able, I was going up against him. Always got pancaked. Always probably got sacked, you know, before I can even hike the ball. But Michael Strahan was a dominant player when the game first came out. For 60k, you can get a 6'5 uh, player with 76 speed, solid. Age acceleration, solid. 87 straight, solid. 85 tackle, 87 play rec. 86 block shed, solid. Add a couple cams, giant cam, you know, something like that. You can get it up to, you know, 80, 90, no, no, you can get no. But 89 power move, if you power him up, you'll have 90, I believe you can get power specialist, but 85 finesse move. You have, you're gonna have 89 power, 85 finesse move, solid, solid, solid. Like I mentioned before, as the cards increase in abilities and stats and stuff like that, some of these good cards that we're getting in the beginning are gonna kinda get, get left behind. But don't overlook them, 65K, a starting left end you can have on your team until until you, you, know, you are able to afford another upgrade. Now you can pair this guy up against Michael Strahan or upside Michael Strahan. Base Aaron Donald. You literally cannot go wrong with Aaron Donald. If you run a 4-3 or 3-4, yeah. Run a 3-4 or 4-3, Aaron Donald has a place somewhere on your defense. 470K, 6-1, 74 speed, solid for a right end. 81 acceleration, 89 strength, 81 tackle, 88 play rec, 86 block shit, 88 power move, 85 finesse move. Just like Michael Strahan, he needs to be nice and balanced. He needs to have good quality stats on both the important power and finesse move stats. Another thing that we, uh, that's not going to show on the card, but his traits, his card traits, he has everything you need for a dominant card. He can do swim move, bull rush, uh, all his character traits are going to be high motor, Swim move, spin move, bull rush, big hitter, strips the ball, and he's disciplined on uh on penalties. Like literally, literally everything you can ask for. <coughs> everything you can ask for, Aaron Donald is going to have. Everyone has Aaron Donald on their team, and for a good reason. Aaron Donald, 70k, definitely recommend him. Him and Steve Young are probably essential, not essentials, but. Some of the best cards you can build your team around. Next is going to be Zach Brown. It might just be me, but 
I was a big Zach Brown fan in Madden for a long time. I think it was Madden 18 or 19. He had a flashback card for the Bills. He was literally on my team for like the entire season because he never got an upgrade. Like he stayed at like a 91 overall, I believe. And he never got an upgrade. I was always waiting for an upgrade. But Zach Brown is just a good card that I liked using in Madden. Currently, he has a recent veterans uh, card for 65k, 89 overall. Again, 89 overalls are still serviceable right now in Madden. 61, 84 speed, good. You know, if you use it right. 84 acceleration, 90 tackle, 86 play rec, 87 block ship, 89 hit power, 64 zone. But the biggest thing here, because me personally, I had Jalen Smith and Ryan Shazier. They were not the best at impact and block shedding. So I switched to Willie Lanier so that way I can have an additional you know, linebacker with some block shit. But Zach Brown, he's nice and serviceable. He can defend the run. He's a run stop stopping archetype, yeah. But he's also gonna have 82 agility. It's good. I mean, for 84 speed, 82 agility. I it might just be me, but Zach Brown is a nice serviceable card that I can use to stop the run. You can use your him. You know, you don't have to worry about him. You just put him on himself, have him stop the run. You know, while you use her, your corner, your linebacker, your safety, someone else, you know? But anyways, Mel Renfro, six foot corner, 86 speed, 86, 87 acceleration, 88 agility, 88 jumping, 86 play rec, nice, 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 86 uh, man, 87 zone, 75, 75 press. Literally a, a nice, solid, balanced cornerback. But the reason he's gonna be on the list is because he's one of the very few cornerbacks that has the big hitter trait. That means he has a higher, higher chance of forcing a fumble against a receiver, a running back, or someone, you know? He is able to make a hit stick and cause a fumble more often than other cornerbacks. If you go on Mudhead and you look at cornerbacks, they're gonna have the big hitter trait. A majority of them are gonna say no, but Mel Renfro, nice and nice solid speed, nice and in coverage, and he can lay a hit stick. So Mel Renfro for under 100K, he can be a number one, he can be number two. At this point now, he's probably number three. But Mel Renfro, you can't, can, you cannot go wrong with adding Mel Renfro to your team, regardless if he's a cowboy or not. For the last card on the list, we're gonna have Landon Collins, 89 overall. Again, 89 overalls, still able to work with. 60K, the biggest thing for him is he's gonna have 95 hit power. You know how in the beginning everyone was grounding for my, uh, for uh, my master Pat Tillman? Now everyone had him right away, but people who did have him, while you did not, know what it's like to go against Enforcer. I think it's 95 hit power is base stat needed for Enforcer. Landon Collins is going to be able to get an Enforcer for 60k, a mini Pat Tillman, not bad. 85 speed, 87 acceleration, 82 tackling, 90 play rec, 88 pursuit. Not the best in coverage, but... I'm pretty sure if you pick up this card, that's not where you'll be getting him for. He is going to have 80 agility, so if you do decide to use him, he's going to be slower than Zach Brown. So just have that in mind if you use him. But if you put him on a straight line, you send him in running back, you, you get him to, you know, to, to hit stake and force a fumble, you will not be disappointed. All right, boom, and quick, easy. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little video. Like I said, I'm not the best at this. I don't know if I'm ever going to do this again, but... 10 players you can get for under 100k you can add to your team in case you were just starting off you want to build a team or you just need some budget players or you need to downgrade somewhere so you can upgrade elsewhere is that if that makes sense i do that all the time but my mom said my last game i swear y'all stay tuned like subscribe help the channel grow and i'll see y'all soon